So in this video, we're going to cover the setup of the FiO2 sensor. So the FiO2 sensor allows you to measure the fraction of inspired oxygen that you're delivering to the patient from when you're entraining the oxygen through the device. So the FiO2 sensor comes in three parts. We have the T-piece adapter, the actual FiO2, the oxygen sensor itself, and then the cable as well to connect all three. So when you first get them to put them together, put the sensor into the top of the T-piece like that. The cable then goes into the top here. The T-piece then connects to the patient outlet there. And then we attach the sensor cable into the FI2 socket on the side of the device. So the end of the cable is colored white here and it lines up then with the white outlet on the side of the Vivo 55 so you know which one to plug in. So once you've got the FiO2 sensor set up and connected, you'll first need to calibrate the sensor. Your medical physics department may do this for you uh, already. Uh, you will need some oxygen and train through the device in order to be able to perform the calibration. So first you'll need to switch on the ventilator. So we'll just push that on, one push of the button on the side. And then to access the calibration in the menu, we want the others menu push that button once. We can then scroll down with the down arrows until we get to FiO2 slash CO2 calibration. Then we want to push the arrow to select that and the device will then take you through the step-by-step -step process of how to do that. Once the FiO2 sensor has been set up and is ready to use, it will tell you the fraction of inspired oxygen on the screen when, it's, when the ventilator is running. The sensor module on the side here will need changing roughly every six months. One thing that's important to note when entraining oxygen through the Vivo 55 is that you should only be entraining oxygen while the device is actually running and ventilating. So make sure that you start the treatment first on the ventilator, then turn on your oxygen. When you want to stop treatment, turn off the oxygen before stopping treatment on the ventilator. In summary, we've just covered how to set up the FiO2 sensor, so you'll now be able to monitor what the fraction of inspired oxygen is that you're delivering to your patients.